What is up guys, it is Shrexlipay here and welcome back to another mod install tutorial. Uh, today we are doing the armor status HUD, direction HUD, status effect HUD um, for Minecraft 1.7.10. So if you will look in the description, you could find the two links that I provided, both to Minecraft Forge downloads and the BASPKRS's mods, I'm guessing he's, well he obviously is the dev, but yeah, I don't know if it's like, <laughs> whatever, anyways, but uh, you can click more info if you want to see anything about this, but this is the forum post. Um, but first, you need to download his core right here and uh, just grab the latest release from um, um, right here. You could uh, download it right there. Bring your download. Uh, do not click any of these advertisements, by the way, it'll just get you a virus. So you just download file and keep it. Also, go back to here more information to show you know and you get the latest download for minecraft 1.7.10 uh, and just click the same thing right there as you can see i just finished downloading all the mods these are the four mods you will need now you need to go to minecraft forge downloads and usually get the latest 1.7.10 download um, the 1.7.10 it, well it has your forge version has to match the version of the mod which usually um, just shows right there uh, on the top of the thread so I'm just gonna get the latest um, choose the installer it's much easier uh, alright sorry about that yeah, a small uh, interruption but yeah right here uh, you just click the installer for the latest version and just skip ahead and it'll give you a direct right, once you're done with that you can uh, put the mod somewhere easily accessible you can keep it like down so not but for the ease of it I just decided to put them on my desktop or one of my monitors so right there okay so right here we got the forge installer so pretty much what you need to do and bring up the installer and then install client yeah and if this pops up you just open up minecraft and run so I'm playing minecraft really quickly ready to download and play 1.7.10 alright so after you've run minecraft 1.7.10 uh, you can successfully use Forge. So just pop up the Forge installer. In uh, if I don't know if I showed it, but you need to click the install client. It will install just for you and yourself. And also choose the directory of which you're going to be. Usually it's just the default app data roaming percent uh, or percent app data percent, which takes you to your app data. A roaming and then dot minecraft is usually where that's the default thing where minecraft installed so uh, as you can see is successfully installed client profile forge for version forge.10.13.0.1187 into launcher and grab 11 required libraries okay so that's a complete message okay now once you do that you can um, hold on I'll just hit okay percent app you go to your percent app data percent I did that on my other monitor okay just pull up your dot minecraft and then uh, if it's a fresh minecraft like me just create a new folder called mods then in the mods folder drag these f drag these four mods pretty basic that should be it make it pop open minecraft and edit your profile the version you can use is the release Forge 1.7.10 and then Forge at 10.13.17 or 87. Save profile. I mean, you can name it whatever you want. Like I'm going to name mine Forge HUD status mods. So, and you can just save your profile. And it'll say ready and update to play. So once you start it, just let it update, I guess. I don't know what that means. It's just it has to load all the libraries. All right, so right here, uh, no, we're at the main menu. So we got mods, and we can see successfully that each of the mods have loaded. We can configure each of these. If I want to config, show item overlay and stuff like that. But that's a different video. If you would like to see a configuration guide to these mods, please comment down below. And also, if you have your own mod in which you'd like to test. 
uh, leave a comment or not test if you need a tutorial on leave a comment down below also check out some other videos we've up uploaded this week and look out for a raid video coming up soon either before this video or after it um, annotations and links in the description also remember to like favorite and subscribe and I'll just pop in and create a single player world to show you that it works so um, just go in creative really quick just create a new creative world whatever Oh, well, by the way, if you're wondering what this program is, this is uh, DX Story. So, oh man, the world is lagging for me. Okay, um, yeah, my, I guess computer's having a hard time. <laughs> Use recording this. Oh, am I am I a tree? Yeah, I'm in a tree. Dang. Okay, so if I pop up, grab some armor. And as you can see, it's right there, right down there. Can't. Yeah, it's right down the bottom left corner. And also, if I were to go back to game mode one and get some splash potions. So you can see it has speed 2 popped up as well. If I were to change up my GUI skill back to actually maybe normal, uh, it's positioned better in the bottom left corner and speed effects on the right. And as I said, you can configure it, or you can't do slash config, but you can config it, um, and I can give a configuration guide to it. Uh, so once again, be sure to leave a rating down below, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this has been Trax Empire as part of the Trax Clan, and uh, yeah, peace out. And